flag racing time. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, but the six dance triumph, oh, baby, it's, it's Charlie Davenport. I finish it! Oh, it's hey. gonna be Alex Fletcher! Oh, oh, Mike Fink Jr., number 38, winning at Daytona. Here comes the 19. Trey Wright wins the Indianapolis 200. And he's going to win his second race here under the lights at Kansas. A part-time driver is going to steal a deal at Charlotte. Local millions will win the Coca-Cola 600. We are the NIRA. We are the NIRA. We are the NIRA. We are the NIRA. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the Chicagoland Speedway in Joliet, Illinois. Just about 45 minutes outside of Chicago, Illinois. We're here for the final race, race number 20 of season number one of the Scott's Grand National Series. This is the Overton 300. 42 cars going to go around this mile and a half trioval track for 40 laps. At the end of those 40 laps, one driver will win the race. But we don't have to worry about a champion to be crowned today because it, it's already been locked up. Kip Silverpoint is coming in as the points leader by over a race worth of points. The most points you can get in a race is 48. She has a 53-point gap over second place. And uh, will come in here, though starting 41st, has nothing to worry about, can play it easy today. Meanwhile, up front, Nathan Buchanan and Noah McGalliard will be the ones leading us to the green flag. It's surely going to be a good one here at Chicagoland. Let's go track side. We'll take a look at your starting lineup. We'll get this pace lap started. And the engines fire here at Chicagoland. 42 going to roll off. Nathan Buchanan and Noah McGalley row one, Luke Rainey, Drew Tatum row two, Alfredo Vanilla, Tony Jaszewski row three, Jacob Thibodeau, Daniel Bouchard row four, Ethan Farley and Madison Tull round out the top ten in qualifying. We'll scroll through the rest of your qualifying standings here. We look for one right here, Drew Tatum in the 66, he's going to be one to look out for. Won the mile and a half race at New Jersey, so look for him to have a real shot at this race. And another one, of course, we want to watch out for Logan Alexander. There he is in the 58. One of the mile and a half at Homestead. I look for him to do well for sure. And the last driver we want here is your, here's your champion. Gip Silver went coming in, starting in 41st, but that's probably good comfort for her. Meantime, the last guy we want to watch for, one of the last guys we want to watch for, Navy Buchanan in the 19, one at Las Vegas. Another mile and a half there. Look for him to be strong. And Drew Tatum won at Nashville. A mile and a third D-shaped configuration. Look for him to be strong as well. And the pace car comes down. We're ready to get this race started. Folks, let's light the fireworks one more time. Here in Season 1, the Overton's 300 at Chicagoland is underway. Down the front straightaway, three wide for the lead, nearly. Nathan Buchanan is going to lead lap number one. Alfredo Vanilla backed out of it there on the inside. And we're seeing wide, wide racing going on. Noah McGalliard just about scraping the wall along the top side there. He was going so high on the racetrack. So Nathan Buchanan will fall into the lead. Drew Tatum is in second. And side by side for third, Luke Rainey, Tony Jezorski right there duking it out. Oh, Drew Tatum's going to get to the inside. He's going to try down the front straightaway. That was close there. Now off into turn one. Will he have a shot? He gets the drive in deep, but Nathan Buchanan's going to have the drive up top. And looks like he's going to beat him to the punch off of turn number two. Down the back straightaway. Seeing lots of three and even four wide racing on the edge of it back there. 
This is Chicago land, man. Just get used to it. Down the front straightaway again here on lap number three. One almost came off the wall and down into the field back there. The 40 of Avery Barnett, the Janiski colors, black and yellow and red car. Came off the wall, saved it, almost came down into traffic and took more out. Oh, it looks like we got Logan Alexander, the 58 up in the wall back there. Almost turned by Charlie Davenport, the 21. He saves it and they hold on to it. And how about up here? Five wide. Just on the edge of it as Logan Williams gets to the inside. And oh, down to the grass. Nick Sykes and Audrey Baranowskis. Coming up, they will get it back together. Oh man, just about hit Kip Silverpoint there, the 09, our current champion, as she was trying to work her way up through the mess. Yes, she's already locked up the championship, but goodness. Just trying to be clean right now. She's doing a good job so far. Meantime, as we check in up front, three wide for the lead. Madison Tall going to the inside of Nathan Buchanan. Tony Jaworski's up top. Looks like Buchanan's going to have the momentum for right now. I'm not sure Jaworski might not get the advantage here off turn number two. He will stretch away, and Luke Rainey going to try to cross to the inside of... Buchanan they'll be side by side for second but Buchanan will be able to hold on to it and Jezjorski in the five will go to the lead here on lap number seven now 34 laps to go we're expecting one pit cycle this race if it goes caution free to that point we're going to see it around lap 30 granted some may come down beforehand that's not entirely out of the question but and we'll see what happens here. We're almost to the point where if a caution did come out though, we would be able to make it to the end, but it would be close. If it came out right now, it would be very, very close. Meantime, we are singled out for the first two positions. Luke Rainey trying to clear Noah McGalliard. McGalliard's gonna fight back on the outside though, and Madison Tall is sitting there in fifth, trying to go for fourth, and Drew Tatum, Nashville winner, gonna go to the inside. And looks like Madison Tall might power through in the middle there. She will. And she will move up to the fourth position, and now gonna look for third on Luke Rainey in the 29. And Rainey is going to use the middle groove right there. The middle groove seems to be the preferred line right now. The bottom and the top don't, don't seem to work nearly as well. So if they stay up in the middle there, they might have the best shot. Especially look at Drew Tatum right here. He's working the middle groove there. And he's gotten right to the outside of Noma Galliard in the 11. There they're going to go side by side. That is for fifth. Drew Tatum going to try to work it again. Now he's got Luke Rainey in front of him, though. Rainey did not get a good turn one and two there. Nothing much has changed up front, though. It is still Tony Jaworski, Nathan Buchanan, one and two. But side by side for third and fifth. And Daniel Bouchard going to try to split the middle in between Tatum and McGalliard there as the field bottlenecks coming off of turn number four. They'll hold on to it. Bouchard, the Michigan winner, going to be right in the middle there with McGalliard. We're going to go four wide here off turn number two. Boy, that's gutsy. That was risky racing right there. But they will file out back to two wide, and McGall or excuse me, Tatum and Bouchard will stretch away. The field starting to calm down a little bit. All things getting reasonably calm as we get later in this run. Tatum going to try to get to the inside of Madison Tall. Not going to quite be able to. But Nathan Buchanan here in the second position. He has had a pretty good season for the most part. He had two wins. Obviously the one at Las Vegas already mentioned. Backed it up with a win in race number five. Dominated at Pikes Peak. And here he is running up front. This configuration, none, it's not at all new to him. Of course, he, obviously he won Las Vegas, and he's running pretty good right now. You can see this pretty much uh, suits whatever style of driving he has. But Luke Rainey, 
He's going for his first win on the season. He is not one. Tony Jezorski is not one. And Madison Tall has just had a dismal season. But everyone here trying to find a way to salvage at least a little bit of the remaining part of their season. And some of these may not even be back next season, so you never know. You never know what they could what could be going on in their minds right now. As so Nathan Buchanan tried to get to the inside of Tony Jezorski there, not able to. Luke Rainey going to go away, way high along the top side. That might work for him. Coming off of turn number four, he will move into the second position ahead of Nathan Buchanan and cross to the inside on Jezorski. Now Madison Tull will get to the inside of Nathan Buchanan. They're going to go side by side. Chevy and Dodge. Side by side there for third. Buchanan's going to be able to hold on to it now, but Tatum, don't look now. Here comes Drew Tatum on the outside of Madison Tall for fourth. As the field seems to be bottlenecking, bottlenecking again, coming off turn number four. And up front, we've got a side, but we had side by side for the lead momentarily, but uh, Jezorski. Gonna stretch away from Luke Rainey. We got a bad entry there to turn one and two, and Nathan Buchanan's gonna get back by him as well. And now potentially gonna be three wide for fourth. As Madison Tall and Drew Tatum. Now they're gonna be side by side with Luke Rainey, so now it's three wide for third. I believe we can give the advantage to Madison Tall though. She's in the middle of the roof. And, oh, not quite. Here comes Tatum back on the on the high side up there. My goodness. This ain't over yet. And how about behind? Bradley Keyes blocked Landon Smith Jr. all the way down to the inside. They'll hold on to it now as Tatum is going to clear Madison Tull. Now try to get to the inside of Buchanan. That's for second here at Chicagoland. Buchanan's going to work the high side, though. Noah, Noah McGalliard's Larson lining it around the top side there through turn one and two. Trying to catch up to the 10 of Carter Joey. Carter Joey is having a pretty good day as well. He has been a quiet one this season for sure. Though he won at Watkins Glen, he's had a quiet season. Absolutely. But uh, showing excellent speed there with that 10 team. Cannot be disappointed at all with the kind of run he's having now. Tony Jezorski, he continues to lead. He's got to be loving what he's seeing in his mirror, though. With everyone here shuffling side by side and battling, this allowed him to pull away not much, but a little bit. A little bit could mean a lot here. But now everyone's starting to get singled out. They could draw in closer to him. They did that lap, but now Luke Rainey's going to go to the inside of Nathan again and. That could help Jezorski once again, but Buchanan, I don't think he's going to let that last long. No, he won't. He'll shoot back by on the outside and hold on to the second position. Now, Drew Tatum in the 90 is going to look on the inside. This is going to be for third. And again, Rainey's going to make that outside line work. But Tatum, he's not going to give up just yet. But he will fall back in line. And Daniel Bouchard, what a cross to the inside. That was gutsy. And he might have a shot down low. He will not. The outside line got the run off again. Madison Tall, Jacob Thibodeau was up there with Drew Tatum. And now Tatum crosses to the inside. And here comes Tall up top. She'll take fourth and potentially third here from Luke Rainey at the line. Yes, she will. Clears him easily. And the field starting to jumble together again. We are just a little bit past halfway here at Chicagoland. And of course, expecting the pet cycle in about eight to ten laps now. We're getting up into that part of the race. Looking at lap 30. Madison Tull has closed in now on Nathan Buchanan. Buchanan right on the back side of Tony Jezorski. And now Madison Tull's going to cross to the inside on Nathan Buchanan. 
And she's going to try to get the spot there. They're going to be side by side off turn number two. Buchanan up top, tall down the bottom. Jaziorski just trying to hold on now. This could be the first time we see the inside line make a statement here. Holy cow, what a run on the bottom side. Madison Tull, she's going to go for the lead on Tony Jaziorski. Still down low, but the help up top. Jaziorski's going to have the run there. Not enough. Madison Tull trying oh so desperately to clear the five through three and four the advantage up top to the five of Tony Jaziorski off turn number four but still side by side I believe Jaziorski's gonna clear her now though yes he will he nearly lost the lead there he was able to get it back Toll's gonna go for it again though and we are now I'd say five laps away from seeing the first cars come down for pit cycles. This is good stuff right now. This is fun, but the fun's just beginning here with Chicagoland. We're just a little bit past halfway here in the Overton 300. Tony Jaziorski leads Madison Tull, Nathan Buchanan, Luke, Rainey, Carter, Joey, Noah McGallier, Landon Smith Jr., Daniel Bouchard, Drew Tatum, and Alfredo Manila. That's the top 10 right now as Nathan Buchanan's going to go for second on Madison Tull. Tull's going to go for first on Tony Jesiorski. And nothing much is going to change right now. Tony Jesiorski continues to lead Madison Tull. Just try to get out. Oh, what a dive on the inside there by Tull. She'll poke up front. Will she be able to clear the five this time? Buchanan going to cross the inside. This could be good. Tull's going to be in the middle groove. Oh, she slipped a bit go going into turn three there. Jaziorski up top. Tull in the middle. Buchanan on the inside off turn number four. They're still side by side. Tull's going to lead that lap, but will she clear the five? Needs a good dive here going into one. She's got it. Oh, Buchanan and McGalliard get together behind. McGalliard, what a save in that 11 car, but he will fall back on the outside. But Madison Toll takes the lead here at Chicagoland from Tony Jaziorski. Jaziorski trying to drive back in close and get this lead back. Meantime, three wide back there for a moment. Carter, Joey, McGalliard, and Landon Smith Jr. there. About Zachary Fitzwater in the 38. He's trying to get up here. This guy just missed out on being eligible for the championship battle. He gained so many points in the last few races, but just didn't get close enough with that 38 team. But an excellent season for Phoenix winner this season, Zachary Fitzwater, one of the best in NR competition. And Eric Monaco is another one here. He has had a dismal season in Scots, but trying to salvage what has been Honestly, a disappointing season for Eric Monaco. He currently sits in the 11th position on track right now. So he's not having a bad race, but he's not had a good season. And he's trying to rebound from seasonal struggles as well. But doing a good job so far, for sure. And, oh, Alfredo Bonilla, a Trent winner, gives the boot to, to, to Drew Tatum going through turn three. Now coming home. 10 laps to go here at Chicagoland. I don't believe we've seen anyone coming out the bit. Oh, there's our first taker, Bradley Ream. Darlington winner of the two. He's the first taker. So it could be just about to start now. Madison Tull is stretched away from Nathan Buchanan by 0.59 seconds. Running the low line. She's slowing down, and a lot of people are slowing down. Oh, trouble there in turn four. Far into the outside and more. Oh, baby Rose upside down. Matthew Silver's in it. Drake King. Kirstein Clark. Luke. Luke Rainey. No, that's Logan Alexander, the 58. Luke Rainey did get damaged, though. Clyde Shelton. Audra Baranaskis. Charlie Davenport. Ben Crouch. Brennan Yadal. And Hip Silverpoint was in it too. 
I guess it's, I suppose it's lucky that she already locked up the championship because this would have done her in if she had still, if she had not locked up the championship. Good grief. So the first caution of the race comes out on lap number 32, just as it looked like pit cycles were getting ready to begin. This could cost Madison Tall, though. She was just coming down onto the pit road when that yellow flag came out. Looks like Bradley Ream's going to be the tail end of the lead lap. We'll see where... Uh, Everyone lines up when they come back around. Madison Tall. I don't think she, nah, she does not have to worry about being at the tail end of the lead lap. She will be the leader, looks like, when everything cycles through. Good gracious almighty. And there's Silver Point coming around. That battered 09 car. She will not make it to the end of this race but has done enough to win the championship and will get a 39th place finish or a 40th place finish as Reem will actually overtake her in the race standings as he is still he is at the tail end of the lead lap still out on the track meanwhile as the field continues to pace here under this caution let's go back and take a look at what happened to bring it out so watching from overhead here as the inside is going to slow up to get onto the pit road, Thibodeau tries to pit from the top side. Nowhere for Daniel Bouchard to go. Sil Silver runs into him, Avery Barnett there, and boom! There's Baby Rue is coming into 34. Huge shot, and up and over goes the 34. And a huge, huge pile up off of turn four. Brenny Adal, Audrey Baranowskis, there's Kip coming in late. Clyde Shelton. Charlie Davenport, Christian Vargas, Patrick Starr, three-time winner in this season. Justin Lightning in it. Rex Ruiz is in it as well. Arthur Xavier in the 42 was in it. There's Ben Crouch, 58 Logan Alexander. Of course, Kip Silverpoint, very, very fortunate that she had already locked up the championship. Has nothing to worry about now. But a uh, terrible way to end the season, other than the fact that she is going to get the championship trophy. But that's not what she wanted out of this day. Let's take a look at another angle. We'll watch full speed here. Bouchard going to come up the middle. Thibodeau slows up. Oh, man. Right there. Yeah, absolutely nowhere to go. And then the field piles in. Oh, what a big shot there. Baby Ruiz and slams the top of the... I believe that was the 60 of... Matthew Silver that he slammed into and he went violently rolling over there and just nowhere for all these other guys and gals to go. That's an ugly, ugly way for pit cycles to go. But the track is clear and we are good to go. So let's head to the restart here at Chicagoland. We're back with your live picture here at Chicagoland. Madison Tull leads Nathan Buchanan, Tony Jezorski, Landon Smith Jr., and Noah McGalliard. Hannah McDowell, Drew Tatum, Juan Rodriguez, Carter Joey, and Adam McDowell round out the top 10. The car is out of the race as a result of that incident. Avery Barnett, Kirstein Clark, Audrey Ranauskas, Daniel Bouchard, Kip Silverpoint, Drew... Uh, Matthew Silver, excuse me, and B.B. Ruiz. Brandon Adal on pit road getting the damage repaired. He's currently listed two laps down. Bradley Ream, tail end of the lead lap as the field comes around. We're going to restart here at Chicagoland with five laps to go. If another caution comes out, this race will be over. Green flag is out. Tall's going to go to the inside. Reem doesn't look like he's going to put up much of a fight there. He knows he's at the tail end of the lead lap here. Now he falls a lap down. Tall's trying to hold on to the lead. Nathan Buchanan's trying to get it back. Buchanan's trying to go for win number three on the season. Tall has not won this season. Has had an awful season. Just trying to salvage what she can. Four laps to go here at Chicagoland. Field fanning out three wide behind. 
Landon Smith Jr. in the 49 going to go to the inside. Bradley Ream shuffled up to the top side. Nathan Buchanan, Tony Jezorski, the two dominant cars of the race right there. Second and third on the inside. Coming around for three laps to go as the field fanning out again. Here's Nathan Buchanan going to the inside of Bradley Ream. Going to try to use the two as a pick. Off into turn one. Madison Toll's going to make that outside work, though. Down the back straightaway. With the lap car in between, this could be good for Toll. She's got leverage now. Coming around for two laps to go here in the Overton 300. Just two more laps left in the season. Though a champion has been crowned, someone's trying to go out on top. Madison Tall would like to do that after a dismal season. Has not won in the Scots Grand National. This has been a long time coming. Bradley Ream, though, won last week. Nathan Buchanan has won twice this season. He's trying to get back up there. The white flag going to be out. One lap to go for Madison Tall. Through one and two as smooth as you could ask for. I've never seen someone do it that good all day. Down the back straightaway one more time. Top to bottom, Madison Tall, the Juicy Fruit Dodge, number 41 for Chip Ganassi Racing, will come off the final turn. Out on top she'll go, Madison Tall wins the Overton 300 at Chicagoland. How about that? Nathan Buchanan tried oh so hard to get that lead back. He knew he could try to go for win number three. He didn't quite get there. And a first timer, Madison Tall, finally is a winner in the Scots Grand National Series. What a way to go out for season number one. Though she didn't win the championship. That championship, of course, already locked for Kip Silver Point in the 09 after an extremely dominating season. Madison Tall, with her struggles this season, only seems the most fitting that she would go out with a win. Take a look at your race finishing results here. Madison Tall wins ahead of Nathan Buchanan, Hannah McDowell, Tony Jaworski, Noah McGalliard, Landon Smith Jr., Carter Joey, Drew Tatum, Juan Rodriguez, Jeremy Baylor. That is your top 10. We'll scroll through the rest of your standings here. The only car finishing a lap down, Bradley Ream. Avery Barnett, Brandon Yadal, Kirsten Clark, Alfred, uh, excuse me, Alger Baranaskis, Daniel Bouchard, Kip Silverpoint, Matt, Matthew Silver, and B.B. Ruiz unable to finish this race. That's going to wrap us up here the Scots Grand Nationals. Congratulations to Madison Toll for winning the final race of the season. And of course, even though she already locked it up last season, we congratulated her then. We're congratulating her again. Kip Silverpoint, congratulations on winning the Season 1 Championship here in the Scots Grand National Series. And we'll see you later on tonight for the Cabela's Cup Series Final. we got four drivers going for the championship there. Who will win it? You'll have to watch to find out. Until later, here on the Trinity Racing Network, y'all have a good one.